What's up guys? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great fourth weekend. I had a great weekend with family. My little sister came up with my niece and nephew from Connecticut, so we're all having a great time. Today is beach day. I am off of work. Thank goodness. You guys know I love my long weekends and my short week days. So, I am on my way to go get gas right now, meet up with my family, and head over to the beach out here in New Jersey. So, I am going to let you guys know how my ride went. Unless you guys want to ride with me for a little bit, but I gotta tell you guys, I, first of all, you guys may not know this, but I don't know how to swim. I don't know how to swim at all. But I love, love, love being in the water. I absolutely love being in the water. Whenever I go on vacation, whether it's, I don't know, I've been to the Bahamas, Mexico, DR, and I have to go in the ocean water. Not just the pool, but I have to go in the ocean water. I have my limit because I know that I don't know how to swim. But um, I just love the water. Like it's, I don't know, it's just something about, I don't know if it's by nature because I'm a water sign. I don't know. I'm a Scorpio born in November um I don't know I just love being in the water I love just I don't know it's something so liberating about being in the water um but today I'm not going to be getting in the water because believe it or not even though right now it's going to be I don't know close to 80 degrees that water at the beach is probably going to be like 60 degrees I'm not doing it I only get in beach water when I go away on vacation whether it's Miami, whether it's on an island, but not over here where it's close to um, the shore. You know, it's, it's just not, I don't know, I don't like it. But in any case, you guys, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So like I said, I'm going to go get gas and then I'm going to go meet up with my family and we're going to head over to the beach. Now, from where I live um, in New Jersey, the beach is probably about an hour and a half away. It's almost the same distance as going to Connecticut, believe it or not. It's, it's a pretty long ride, but it's a nice ride. It's a nice, nice little relaxing ride to the beach. So I will see you guys later. I am going to head on over and pay attention to the road right now. Um, but yeah, I will catch you guys later. And yeah, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. What's up guys? So I just finished putting gas in my car. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Wawa. I discovered Wawa probably a while ago, but Wawa is like this big chain of gas stations that's also like a convenience store slash I guess I don't know what they would call it out here you can get like breakfast lunch dinner snacks ice cream um Anything you can think of, you could get at Wawa and pump your gas or whatever. Now, it wasn't up until I came out here that I realized that you don't pump your own gas. Out in Connecticut, you pump your own gas. So what's funny is that I felt so good about myself this past weekend because I actually taught my big sister how to pump gas for the first time in her life because she is originally from New Jersey. She was born and raised out here, and she has never pumped her own gas. I guess that's what it is out here. You just don't pump your own gas. It's very rare that you find a gas station where you pump your own gas. In Connecticut, you have to pump your own gas all the time, everywhere, anywhere you go. So it was so funny. She was like, you got to teach me how to do this because I've never pumped my own gas. I was like, what? And she felt so good about herself. So, um... But yeah, like Wawa is like an amazing place. <laughs> you could get your snacks, sandwiches, breakfast, coffee, any any anything that you want, you can get at Wawa. Um, so that's where I am, and there's tons of them, tons of them. I think 
when I first saw them, I think I was, um, I think it was in North Jersey. I was passing through and I saw one, but then as you keep going south, you see a lot more of them. So that's where I pump my gas. Gas isn't too bad out here, but so I've done that. I brought my snacks from home, which is a bunch of fruit, some organic chips, my water. Um, I have my book that I actually am starting to read. Tyrone had bought me this book and I've heard of this book plenty of times before. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. We recently have become very um, engaged into learning a lot about uh, cryptocurrency and finances and things like that. So I started reading the book and I immediately began to get engaged in this book. Um, the thing that Tyrone always tells me is that when you start reading this book, you're going to feel so stupid as to how you have spent your money when you were younger and you wish you didn't. And so far, I'm starting to understand the mindset of getting to a place where you want to make money or you want the money to work for you. So the book so far is very interesting. So I'm currently reading that. So I can't wait to just lay out on the beach and relax and read my book. I am waiting for my family to meet up with me at the gas station so we can hit the road because even though I've been out in New Jersey for three years now, I still don't know a lot of my ways around um, different places in New Jersey. So, um, but I'm always using my handy dandy GPS. That is my best friend. Anywhere, and even when I'm local, like if I don't remember where to get to a certain place, like I'll, I'll use my GPS because nine times out of ten i'm always with tyrone and when you're in the passenger seat you kind of don't pay attention to where you are or how to get to where you're going you're just there all of a sudden but um yeah so i am going to sit here and wait for my family i think they're on their way and i will catch you guys when we finally get to the beach see you guys later what's up you guys so as i was sitting here waiting for my family i was sitting in the car with the windows down minding my business and I felt an itch on my forehead and I thought it was a loose hair so I keep going like this and then I looked in the mirror and I saw something crawling on my forehead and as you can see I smushed a bug on my forehead so that's that's the beginning of my adventure to the beach. <sighs> Carry on. I'll see you guys when I get there. because parking is crazy out here especially on holiday weekends so yeah we gotta go around look for parking we always like looking for parking close to where everything is so we can have easier access to everything but sometimes it doesn't work out that way so we'll see i'll let you guys know how that goes all right guys so we finally found parking and i'm with the fam so we are making our way to the boardwalk slash beach and we're gonna be walking around hanging out got my two sisters with me my brother-in-law 
my three nephews and my niece. So it's a family fun day. I know you guys are gonna ask, where is Tyrone? Tyrone has work to do, but he is here in spirit. Um, I, you know, my, my sister's up here with the kids from Connecticut, so I've gotta spend some time with them. Um, and I was off for of work today, so. I will catch you guys in a little bit. Well, here we are, you guys. Seaside Heights. It's almost like big Coney Island. They got a nice amusement park over there. The beach is on the other side of that right there. But we just found out that the beach is at capacity. So we're going to be walking the boardwalk for a little while and hanging out. So we're walking the boardwalk <clears throat> because like I said, we can't um, can't go on the beach because it's at capacity. But every time I come out here, I have to have their fresh lemonade. And let me tell you, it is perfect. The weather is perfect today. It's not scorching hot. You can feel the breeze from the water. It's literally like perfect weather out here. Like I'm not even sweating. It's really nice. <sighs> so we've just been walking around, hanging out, enjoying the scenery, people watching, people watching. And now we're on our way to the amusement park part, which looks... Uh, Looks interesting. I don't get on rides the way I used to, so I'm definitely not getting on anything, but I'll show you guys what that looks like. So I forgot to mention that Seaside Heights also has a water park. I would love to be in the water right now, but um, considering the fact that I can't swim, I will not be getting on nobody's water slide. Thank you. Yeah, so the beach is at capacity. So we can't enter the beach. So we're just hanging out, taking the young little ones to the arcades, walking around, enjoying the scenery and the people. Yep. So much for my uh, sitting on the beach and reading. I'll see you guys later. You guys, I'm like a little kid in this arcade right now. I want this PS5. I already won 10,000 points. I'm trying to get the PS5. I'll let you know what happens. All right, you guys. So I spent $40 on that game trying to win the PS5 and I lost it all. Stupid little bags kept falling back inside of the... Let me tell you something. I know these, these games are a scam, but I had to try it. I, had, I saw the PS5 and I had to try it, but I stopped. I'm done, I'm done. So, on with my day. So as y'all can see, there is tons of places to eat at, plenty of things to do, tons of people, lots of people. Yeah, they have arcades, restaurants, bars. I think they even have a little club out here. It's nice, really nice people. So there's the amusement park. It's on its way. We're on our way, I should say. See there? Yeah, I don't get on any of that, but as I get closer, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I'll show you guys what they look like. All right, guys, so my brother-in-law looks like a straight dad. <laughs> beach glasses. His beach glasses. He calls them the beach glasses. But everybody thinks it's dad glasses. So, yep, got my sisters. Let me see if I can catch up to them. And my niece, she's of age. So don't worry, people. So I got a little sister here. My niece, my older sister. Family day, y'all. My nephew's in the back, but y'all can't see them because they're minors, so. But uh, definitely family day today. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this lemonade is hitting so different right now. It's so good. We played some arcade games, sat down and relaxed a little bit. 
now we got back up to go walk around and we're heading to the amusement park to see what we run into now so i'll see you guys soon Shoots up. So y'all see this right here? That's a big no for me. Big no for me. No way in hell will I be getting on something like this. Absolutely not. Y'all leave a comment below. Let me know if you've ever been on something like this before. Because I will never, never, never. No thanks. Goodbye. Y'all take a look at this. This is a humongous no for me. <laughs> Hell no. My heart would have dropped right on the floor before I would have taken off. No. No thanks. Nah. Just to give you a taste of what goes on here at Seaside Heights. <laughs> no thanks. All right, guys, so I was able to sneak up the ramp. Well, not sneak, I asked for permission, but just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of what the beach looks like out here. And yeah, it looks like it's absolutely fully packed. But it's so nice to see everybody outside again and enjoying the summer, the weekend. Things are slowly getting back to normal and I love it. I love it. No masks required. I love it. It's definitely a, a breath of fresh air, pun intended, to be able to just be out here and enjoy being at the beach, the boardwalk, park. It's really nice. Yeah, so I'm having a good time. I'm glad that I am at the beach or what I should say, the boardwalk, whatever you want to call it, Seaside Heights. It's really nice to be able to just relax. It's almost like, because it's such a long ride from where I live, it's like a little getaway for the day, which is really nice. But as you can see, the boardwalk is behind me and the beach is right in front of me. And then of course the amusement park is right attached to it, so. Yeah, you guys, I'm having a great time with my family. We're getting ready to walk back because it's a very, very, very long boardwalk. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little vlog of my beach day with my family. It was a really nice day. Got my fruits in, my juice, my liquid, staying hydrated because it feels like it's 80 degrees out here. Um, but it's not scorching hot. The humidity isn't isn't bad. It's really nice. So there you guys have it. So my full day of my family time at Seaside Heights in New Jersey. If you are out here in the area, go check it out. It's a really nice beach to go to. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys later. Hope you guys had a great weekend. And I'll see you on the next one. Toodles.